Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is a hair review. So this hair is from Tanache Hair. This is the Loose Deep Wave, and I bought this hair myself. So this is a true review, because I bought it with my own money. And I'm gonna give you guys all the specs on the hair, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everything about this hair. This is three bundles and a closure, 24 inch, 22 inch, and 20 inch, and a 20 inch closure, I believe, yes. I took a while to film this video because Initially, I was gonna film a uh, unboxing, but I think it makes more sense to film um, you with the hair after a while, maybe a month or so. So yes, I'm gonna give you guys the pros and the cons of this hair. And currently, this is not the natural um, curl. I wanted this and then I brushed it out, and that was about three days ago. So the hair came fairly quickly. I ordered it on Friday and it came on Monday or Tuesday, I believe. So that was really quick. Their customer service is great because they answered my emails right away when I asked them, when I was asking them questions about the price. I used somebody's on YouTube's discount. I can't remember exactly who. I think I'll link it down below. But the full price came up to 180 USD, which is pretty good. That's about 220 Canadian dollars. One thing that I will tell you guys is that from the sponsored videos on YouTube that I saw of the curl pattern, it's not the same as the hair that I got. I believe I did get the loose deep wave, but I don't know that um, some video some video said that the hair mimics um, Indian wave and mimics raw Indian hair, which is like the best hair when she brushed it out It looks a lot different from when I brush out the natural state So I'm actually gonna spray the hair with water and show you guys what I mean um, It doesn't look bad though, but it just doesn't look exactly the same and I definitely think that the curl pattern on the frontal is better than the curl pattern of the bundles, but First, I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing. So, this is the hair when I first got it. Um, I made a wig, and this is what the wig looks like. So, as soon as I made the wig, I tried it on, and I was really loving it. So, let me tell you guys my first impressions on this hair um, from the 10 minutes that I've been wearing it since I've gotten it. Just cut off the lace and put it on my head. And I am impressed, like, I love the curl pattern right after I brush it. Look at that. It looks like really romantic curls. I actually really like it on camera. Like it looks really good. It goes, I'm using a fine tooth comb and it goes through it so nicely. Let's see if it even sheds. It may shed with a fine tooth. The fine tooth, it sheds a little bit if you guys can see. But with a wide tooth comb, nope, no shed, no hairs. The closure, is really really nice the knots aren't so visible so for this hair i'm going to experiment with not bleaching my knots and see how long it lasts so if it lasts more than a year then it's good because i don't wear my wigs all the time i wear them on and off and the other frontal lasted almost a year i got it last april and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now so i am the queen of finesse and i had no other i didn't feel like doing braids i had no other weave to wear because i like cutting all my weave and then having to throw it away um so i made this wig and this is a front bang wig i'm just combing it so you guys can see the actual shape so this hair was from Eunice hair and when i first got it the frontal was really good but i bleached it because i thought that i had to and um i actually made it into a front bang wig i'm gonna insert some pictures of me wearing it like it looks cute but look at how bald this lace is like there's, there's no possible way for me to wear this wig in a middle part. It's just really bald and see-through. But what I did was I made it work and I used like the most, the thickest part and I was able to make it into front bangs. It did not shed at all in the beginning. Um, it does not tangle. It was very easy to brush through. I've had the hair in, I said, for about three weeks now, and I have not yet tried to straighten it, and I don't know if I will. So I'm gonna give you guys the list of pros and cons with this hair, and I'm gonna give you guys things that you should definitely look out for before you order this hair, okay? So let me just um, add water to the hair at first and I'm gonna add water just to this side because I'm actually probably just gonna curl it back up later again as soon as it dries This is just 90% um, water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner And I'm just gonna brush it out with this little mini brush I'm gonna keep it. Get the hair really, really wet. 
the front of the frontal doesn't actually never actually curls up all the way which i kind of like because it keeps it really flat okay as you guys can see this is the curl pattern and i really i like it it's not what i was expecting i think i was expecting more actually i don't know it kind of looks better today than it normally does the curl pattern of the frontal though which is what you're which is mainly what you guys are seeing looks way better than the curl pattern of the bundles in my opinion i don't know exactly how to explain it but they're kind of like ringlets this actually doesn't look that bad they had a cheap look to it when i first got it like it was almost like beauty supply hair so let me just wet this other side too so that both sides are the same because i'm going out after this great curl patterns and stuff oh and the curl pattern is looking better than it did before which is so weird pros are definitely that this hair does not shed it has minimal shedding i'm gonna brush through it and show you guys actually let me take off all the hair on the from all the brushing that i just did this is how much hair shed once you wet it it doesn't tangle any hair tangles when it's like really really dry and it's pretty easy to put your hands through um i remember when i first got it though it didn't shed at all in my opinion shedding only gets too bad when like you can't go anywhere without seeing hair on the floor because you're like shedding everywhere that's too much or you're brushing your hair in the bathroom and like all the hair is on the floor i don't want to do all that the bundles come true to length and they're pretty long one tip for you guys is i ordered 24 22 and 20 and a 20 inch closer but i had to cut the 24 by like a few inches probably up to the 22 inches so i wish i just ordered two 22s and a 20. you know when the ends are too straggly i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i did in the clip i had to cut it right here because the ends were just get looking too straggly and it didn't look real i wanted it to be like close to the same length or the same length to save a little bit of money you might as well just get the bottom two bundles the same length number three the hair is very shiny and lustrous like if you can see that this is just from water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner because it was looking dry a second ago right when i wand curled it a few days ago i actually used a little bit of the bio silk silk therapy this is what i use when i wand curl it and it's looking dry and i don't want it to look like burnt and dry this is what i use this stuff is bomb i got this mini bottle from the beauty supply because i haven't used it before so i wanted to test it out before i buy the big bottle and this was only 199 but that was like four days ago and it's still um shiny so that may have helped with the shine but even when i first got it the hair is very lustrous and shiny so pro number four onto the frontal i have a love-hate relationship with this frontal and i'm going to show you guys why so this frontal is a 20 inch frontal it's 13 by 4 and i actually really like this frontal because it's a free part frontal so it did not come as a middle part some days i want a side part and some days i want a middle part so all i have to do to change how i look on this frontal is i just spray water all up in it and to get it super duper flat i just part wherever i want and i try to do this the night before or a few hours before i'm going out so you just have to part um where exactly you want your part to go and then comb it down so i would take around here and spray 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 and right here spray 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 same thing on this side and then i'll tie it down and this is how i get it super duper flat and it'll actually stay like this for like a few like a few weeks it'll stay this flat for a few weeks um it's it can get very very flat and that's a trick to getting a flat frontal honestly like my hair is braided in four under this but it looks like my hair could be in like 10 braids right so i did not bleach the knots on this frontal i stopped doing that because honestly it's not worth it and it weakens the knot on, in the in the lace one thing that's really good about this frontal is that it's dense it's very very dense and why that's a good and a bad thing because it's good so because it has a lot of hair in it which means they didn't like shortchange you but it can be bad because it's really hard to actually see the line so what i usually do is i didn't do it today you can probably tell because i'm not even wearing like um uh, i'm not even wearing a cap under this it's just my hair it doesn't look too bad but see if i wanted my part to be more visible i would just take some concealer and take a flat concealer brush like this all i would do is just go into that middle part with a little bit of concealer to lighten it a bit
and automatically it makes your part a lot straighter like i can go without doing that but honestly you can find so many different ways to customize your lace frontal on youtube so don't worry about bleaching your knots i think we're over that in 2018 like it's too much work it's honestly too much work especially if you're not a professional because you could over bleach them and get it on the hair it's like oh i don't have time for all that stuff like forget it another good thing is that it comes uh, a little bit pre-plucked so i didn't actually pluck it that much i literally just plucked it like uh a few days ago and i just plucked the sides because i wanted to wear it i just plucked the sides a little bit because i wanted to look more like my hairline my hairline is not that dense at all and so i wanted to look more like my hairline especially when i'm wearing like a side part if you guys can see that I plucked it. I don't know why this part is so white. If you guys can see right here, I just plucked the sides, but I didn't really have to pluck much and I feel like it looks fine. And I just cut a little bit of baby hair, but it didn't take me long at all as it did with some past hair that I've had. So I would definitely say the only con is that the frontal is a little bit too dense but it's not that much of a con and the curl pattern wasn't what I expected but it's still fine so overall I would say that this hair is definitely worth getting I actually just ordered it for my auntie or I'm about to and this is just three bundles and a frontal I've seen a lot of people get the four bundles and a frontal deal I actually use all three bundles into the wig and this curl pattern is actually looking really cute I swear in the beginning I didn't like it and I knew I was just gonna curl it when I had time. If you guys know any good barrel curlers like on Amazon, could you guys like comment them down below? Cause I wanna know. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. A few people asked me and I was like prolonging it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna post it soon, post it soon. I just wanted to give you guys like a good review, like not like a rushed. Thanks so much for watching my review for Tanache hair. Everything will be listed down below. All the links, all the direct links to this hair as well as the Tanache website. And this was not sponsored by the way. I paid for this hair. I paid for it with my own money okay don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye guys